In January 1989, this submarine was built for the first time by the Electric Boat Division of General Dynamics, Connecticut, USA. Making the submarine cost US$3 billion or around RP42 trillion. Seawolf aims to demonstrate the U.S. Navy's technological superiority over Russia from 1945 until the mid-1980s. The submarine is designed to be able to dive to a depth of 487 meters and can operate under the polar ice cap. Apart from that, Seawolf's superior feature is its ability to search for and destroy Russian ballistic missile submarines, namely the Typhoon class. An attack submarine such as the Akula class, Seawolf was also designed as a replacement for the older Los Angeles-class nuclear-powered attack submarines. The hallmark feature of the Seawolf design is the ability to travel very quietly, even at high tactical speeds. While most of the ship's divers need to maintain their speed to 5 knots to avoid detection by passive sonar arrays. Meanwhile, the Seawolf submarine is capable of sailing at a speed of 20 knots and is still impossible to find. The submarine has a power source from the reactor S6W nuclear. Its body is 107 meters long and 12 meters wide and weighs 9.138 tons. The ship also has a speed of 25 knots or more of 45 kilometers per hour. Even the Seawolf ship has adequate weapons and is equipped with sophisticated sensors. Despite not having a vertical launch system, the submarine has eight torpedo tubes and can accommodate up to 50 guns in its torpedo bay. It seems the U.S. Navy community generally likes Seawolf-class submarines, even if they are a little old. That said, are there issues that aren't always communicated to the press that we don't hear much about? Are Seawolf-class submarines unlucky and high-maintenance ships? They are fast and quiet. Some consider them to be the best submarines ever developed by the U.S. Navy, but the Seawolf-class has fallen on hard times. USS Connecticut, one of three Seawolf-class attack submarines, collided with a seamount in the South China Sea on October 2, 2021. The ship had to make an emergency cruise to Guam for damage assessment and initial repairs and then limped back to San Diego on the surface. It finally entered dry dock at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in Bremerton, Washington on February 8. Are they too hard to maintain? Not only did the Seawolf class take a few hard knocks, but the submarines required extensive and lengthy maintenance schedules which added to the cost their operation. This setback has been going on for years and the Navy has even succumbed to a U.S. Government Accountability Office investigation that studying the Seawolf class and its maintenance issues as far back as 2017. Gao found that between 2000 and 2016, three Seawolf class submarines were delayed by more than 1,600 days before they completed their period. Maintenance that is behind schedule. In all, they were grounded for nearly 80 days as they waited to enter dry dock, according to the Kitsap Sun a Bremerton publication, 
Washington tracking submarines in Puget Sound. Kitsap Sun also said the Seawolf submarines have an estimated daily cost of more than $205,000 to operate. This makes them the most expensive ships for the Navy to work per day compared to a Los Angeles-class or Virginia-class submarine, according to Gao's findings. Other maintenance issues have crept up. Forbes also found more difficulty. USS Connecticut is expected in early 2020 to enter Puget Sound Naval Shipyard for one year, dry docking selected restricted availability, or DSRA, in August 2021. However, in mid-2020, the US Navy reversed itself, starting the formal process. Cancelling the ship's major maintenance period dived the Seawolf class in 2021, according to Forbes's Craig Hooper. If Connecticut was in dry dock for this work, perhaps it could have avoided its 2021 crash in the South China Sea. Corrective fixes as long as the DSRA is classified, but work on sensors that may have alerted the crew before the crash would be a great addition welcome. The Seawolf class has redeeming qualities. The submarine can travel 35 knots submerged and 20 knots in silent mode. The Seawolf class has 50 torpedoes the Mark 48 weighs 533 millimeters. There is also the Harpoon anti-ship missile, which can be fired via eight tubes. Seawolf can also use Tomahawk ground attack missiles. It can dive deeper and run more quietly than the Los Angeles-class ships. For Connecticut to be on patrol again, a tremendous amount of work had to be done. The forward main ballast tanks and sonar balls were damaged, and needed a new sonar turret. The good news is that the hull and nuclear plant survived the encounter intact. 